Speaker, here we are again, kicking the can down the road and for other purposes. Buy more time so that we can spend more money that we don't have at a time when we are going to eclipse more interest, more spending on interest than our national defense this year. And by 2026, we're going to be spending a trillion dollars on interest. We're going to continue to spend monies at the Nancy Pelosi spending level of an omnibus bill that Republicans roundly oppose. That is what is happening on the floor of the United States House right now. We are going to continue funding this government at Nancy Pelosi's omnibus spending level. That is a level that will continue, by the way, to fund all of the priorities we oppose. We're going to continue to fund the open borders that led to the death of Americans. We're going to continue to fund the United Nations at $12.5 billion that is undermining our freedom, working against us to move people illegally into the United States. We're going to fund UNRWA, which is funding Hamas, an enemy of Israel. We're going to fund the IRS that's targeting Americans. We're going to fund the Department of Justice that is targeting former President Trump. We are going to do that today here on the floor of the House of Representatives, rather than exercising the power of the purse that James Madison articulated in Federalist 58, that this body, this body is supposed to check an out of control executive branch. That is what is happening today, and we should oppose it. And I would yield such time as the gentleman shall consume to the gentleman from